Hey everybody, Larkson's here, and welcome back to another breakdown. We're doing Paragon again, but we're not going to do the game. We're going to do one of 14 characters in Paragon. So let's check it out, and let's see who's going to get the first Paragon breakdown. If you're curious about the game, please check in the link in the description below as I break down Paragon. So, looking at it, honestly, none of them are really the one I want to do. But then, what's the point of doing the video? Who's the guy in the picture, you ask? Well, on April 21st, they released a new character. His name is Iggy and Scorch. So let's pick on them and let's see their models. Well, looking at them, they look absolutely horrifying. Iggy looking like a small little goblin and Scorch honestly looks like the head of Cerberus that grew legs and decided to join the Paragon fight. But honestly, I like the way they look. They look pretty badass and a little scary. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of skins they put into this game for these two lovely characters. But let's scroll over and see what kind of stats they're rolling with. So looking at it, they look like they focus on Fury and Corruption cards. So no other cards work with them. And his base attack's at 3, which is pretty mediocre. His ability power is at 7, meaning he's highly dependent on his powers. His durability is at 3, which is pretty decent, but he still can't take a punch. And his mobility at 5, which is pretty okay but he's still not the fastest out of the land. So what the hell is Iggy, you ask? Well, Iggy is a caster in this game, and he's a little bit more unique than all the other casters in Paragon, because he's the only one that harnesses a specific ability, and he harnesses the power of fire. But let's scroll over to his abilities and see what he comes with. So his first passive is Ignite. When oil, damage is, when oil is applied, he does a little burn damage. The oil dissipates when he does this, so always keep that in mind. His base attack where he lobs his little uh, Molotov, it does 45 damage. It has a pretty decent range, as I'm going to show you guys. But and it also leaves a little trail of fire. But his get the fuck out the way move is his R1 ability, which is his oil trail. Where Scorch gets a nice little mobility boost so he can get the hell out the way. And leaves a nice little trail of oil so you can set the blaze with your main attack. And his primary, his bread and butter, is his flame torrents. These babies are going to be your bread and butter. These are your offense. These are your defense. This is your distraction. You can, when you max this out, you get three of these bad boys. When you start off at level one, you only get one. But when you max it out, you get a nice little three. And these melt people's health away. His circle move is his grenade-like move, which is oil trap. It does no damage, but it needs a nice little spread of oil, which you can set up blaze with your main attack. And when he's angry, he wants to watch the world on fire and purges them with his flames. He does flamethrower with just 450 damage in over 2.5 seconds and does a little bit of knockback. So when you start with Iggy, what kind of cards do you put on him? Well, you want to focus on cards with corruption and fury in it, aside from some staple universals. But you want to look for cards that focus on his cooldown time. Maybe boost up his mana a little bit. But keep in mind, this is depending on how you want it. I got it built as a glass cannon. So he does a shitload of damage, but he can't take a fight. But you can spec him however you want. So if you want, you can boost up his mana, you can boost up his cooldown time. He could be an offense, and he could be a defense. So after 10,000 years of getting the game, you have two starter decks. You have the caster one, which is focused on your mana, and you have the assassin, which is focused on your DPS and your damage dealing. I'm going to pick the one I picked, because unfortunately, once you pick them, you're stuck with it. So let's see his basic attack and all his other moves. Keep in mind, I only put one point into Flame Torrent. So this is his basic attack where he lobs his Molotov. Keep in mind, if you pay attention, it leaves a little trail of fire a little bit. So it lasts for a few seconds. So if you want, you can use your oil trap afterwards to set up Blaze. This is your oil trail. This is the one move that you use to run in or out of a fight. So you can use this offensive and defensive. You can move this around and the fire actually moves with you. The oil trail moves with you. You can set a blaze only with your basic attack. But this is your main move right here. Is your, your flame torrents. Keep in mind, the range of your flame torrents is right there in those blue lines. You want to make sure you spread them out a little bit. You don't want to keep them too clumped up like so. And his oil trap, which is right here, his grenade-like move, which is a nice little basic pool of oil, which you can only set a blaze with your main attack. Keep in mind, your flame torrents does not set it on fire. And your ultimate is your flame torrent. Is a cone-like move, which you can move in any direction and start firing with the fire button. You don't have to hold it, you just have to press it once and scorch this belch. You can add a little bit more damage by 
keep pressing the fire button so you can lob some more Molotovs. But let's see how these two do in a fight. We want to make sure you spread out those torrents, as they do so much damage to minions and even enemies depending on how you spec them. These can be your damage dealers, or at least your distractions, because Iggy can be spec as a support, or area control, or even a damage dealer, which I have spec that. You don't want to get too hungry for a kill though, because remember, Iggy's health is not that great, so he can easily die if, he's, if you're not paying attention too closely on his life bar. But like I said, your torrents are your bread and butter. You always want to have them there. You don't want to fight an enemy without them. You, you can't win one on one with Iggy. You need his torrents. His torrents are going to distract the enemy or at least help you in the fight to get the kill or at least distract them enough so that way your friends can flank them from behind. But watch as they destroy minions and even can kill some of the heroes and destroy their helps to nothing. So always remember that your torrents can be your offense and your defense. But how was Iggy overall and Paragon? Honestly, I like the little Pyromancer. He was so much fun to use and I really hope they bring more elements to classes like this because this little fire demon was a lot of fun. You want to make sure that you max out those torrents as fast as possible because they are your offense and your defense so they can melt enemies health or at least distract them for your friends to come behind. And don't forget that you have oil trails to run in or out of a fight. You can use it to flank enemies or you can use it to get the hell of a fight. And don't be shy to use your ultimate as an offense as well as a defense. You can push them into your enemy, your friend's special or you can push them into a laser beam to do more damage or you can just push them out the way so that way you can have a chance to run and escape. Don't forget to use your oil moves to get the most out of your damage. You can use oil trails to run in and out of a fight. And don't be shy to use your ultimate because that knockback can push him into your friendly special or into a laser beam to do more damage. He could be specced out as a support, an area control, or just a straight up glass cannon. But it's all on how you spec them. But like I said, I recommend cards that boost up his mana, his cooldown time, and if you can, his energy damage. But the fire is out and the breakdown's over. I really hope you enjoy what you see. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more Paragon breakdowns. Share this with your friends. And don't forget to comment below just in case I forget anything important. But this is me, Iggy and Scorch, and we'll see you guys next time.